Hi, I'm Ruth Taylor, welcoming you, my life winners, to another talk pre released from the book When Things Talk. Today, I'll be looking again at the purple cloth and the lessons we can learn from the purple cloth. The title of today's talk is Activated by Purpose When the Purple Cloth Speaks. Something profound happened in April 2015 and since then my perspective on life has never been the same. And much of that has to do with a piece of purple cloth that I have been telling you about in these talks. To understand better what happened we have to journey back to a time in August 2014 when my time as a full-time missionary serving with Operation Mobilization was coming to an end. During my four years of service, we kept the boardroom well decorated with various colored pieces of cloth, including strips of purple cloth. The material for the decor belonged to a friend of mine, and he had graciously allowed us to keep them. Upon leaving, we decided to take down the materials, and I was left with a piece of purple cloth. However, a few months prior to leaving, we used it to wrap the pot of a potted plant in the office and after that I took it home and threw it in my dirty clothes laundry basket at the bottom of the basket as a kind of marker where it stayed for nine months. Notwithstanding, it seemed the purple cloth was destined for greater things and would not stay at the bottom of the pile of dirty things forever. I'm sure by now you are wondering what changed and how did it move from the bottom of the basket to become a signature piece in my presentation and a symbol of transformation. Well, it all began with a bridal shower. One of my best friends was getting married in April 2015 and being the maid of honor, it was my duty to throw the bridal shower. And so it happened. In planning the decor, I realized that I could use the purple cloth to decorate the venue. And so once more, the purple cloth became useful. It was in that moment that the purple cloth taught me its first lesson. It spoke to me about purpose and destiny. This is the message. Unless we see the uses for our lives, our destiny will not be fulfilled. And like the purple cloth, we will remain at the bottom of the pile in a less than ideal place. Our life winning key today is win with purpose. It was purpose that activated the purple cloth. As long as I saw no use for it, all its potential remained untapped. It was inactive, dormant, for nine whole months. Some of us have been wasting away, dormant for many years because we are blind to the purposes for our lives. Every successful person has a sense of purpose. And when purpose is not known, not only will we remain dormant, but we will be used for less than ideal purposes and may even be discarded just like this purple cloth or be misused. It's not that the purple cloth was useless, it's just that I could not see it. It's not that you are worthless or useless, it's just that you or others may not be seeing the uses for your life. It's time to be activated by purpose. And perhaps you are saying, Ruth, I agree with you, but how can I be activated by purpose? I don't know my purpose, and purpose is often such a nebulous term. Well, let me offer some ideas to clarify your purpose. In the same way how I found a purpose for the purple cloth, you too can find your purpose. Purpose has to do with service and use, in other words, contribution. Therefore, what are the uses of your life? What talents and gifts do you possess and how could those be used to serve others in an amazing way? 
What problems do you feel called to solve? The purple cloth was solving a decor problem. And so I ask you, what irritates you? What makes you sad? What is it that you feel you could improve on in this life? What difference do you wish to make in the world? What ideas do you have that will not go away? Perhaps those are clues to your purpose. And another good question is this. What legacy do you want to leave? What mark do you want to leave in this world after you die? What is the greatest service you feel you could make to mankind? And here is something else that you could do to activate your purpose. If you are a person of faith like me, I encourage you to pray and ask God to reveal purpose to you. In fact, the manufacturer is the best person to ask. I do believe in a creator and I discovered my purpose through introspection and self-questioning along with the revelation and praying. What is it that when you do it, you feel a sense of excitement, passion, and pleasure, and could even do it if you were not paid for it? Now, monetization is important, but that is a question I asked, and others have asked, to give them a clue to their purpose. When you find that purpose, monetize it. I know when I'm walking in purpose, I feel a deep sense of satisfaction when I'm engaged in certain activities. In fact, it's like I come alive. Sometimes I get so excited that I feel like jumping out of my clothes. I have a bounce in my step. I can work long hours doing it. I ooze with life when I'm doing it. That's how I know when I'm walking in purpose. I want to encourage you to find a quiet place and do some introspection with a pen and paper. Ask persons what you are good at. Sometimes others will see in you what you cannot see. And that's another talk all by itself. However, remember the purple cloth. As long as I could not see its purpose, it was discarded and inactive at the bottom of the pile. If you want to progress, you've got to get a hold of your purpose. If you do not see the uses for your life, your destiny will not be fulfilled and you will remain at the bottom of the pile. Some questions for reflection as we close this talk. How has this talk inspired you? Do you know your purpose? How has this talk helped you to clarify your purpose. I'm Ruth Taylor saying tough for now until our next talk.